What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 10 of the tutorial series on Amazon WebSocket API Gateway tutorial. In the previous tutorial, I have taken you through on how to connect to WebSocket API using Python. But we had a problem there. So the problem was that the connection was getting closed instantly. So certainly in this tutorial, we are going to address that issue. And apart from that, I will also show you how to send and receive message from client to server and vice versa using Python and the connection will remain open. So let's go ahead and implement that. So here in terms of ABI gateway, everything is going to remain as it is. We are not changing anything within API gateway. All we need to do is we need to copy the connection URL from the stages and click on stage and we need to copy this connection URL and we have to replace the uh, connection URL with this one in order to create or establish the connection with the WebSocket API. So we will come to this later. So again, uh, I will navigate to WebSocket underscore client package. So again, we are going to copy the code from here. So here we have example that is long lived connection. So we are going to copy this code. So I will copy this. Navigate to sublime text and I will create a new file. I will say WebSocket underscore maybe connection dot py. Now I will paste that code over here. Correct. So now I will take you through the code line by line. So here on line one, we are importing WebSocket package. And then from line number two to line number six, uh, we are importing the thread, right? So I think in Python 3.8, uh, it's uh, import underscore thread as thread. But I think in the older version, uh, line number three works. So that's why the uh, whole block is in try catch. Correct. And finally, uh, on line number six, we are importing time. So these are the packages that we are using uh, for this uh, WebSocket connection. Now we will jump to the line number 28. So from here, our execution will start. So here on line number 29, we have WebSocket.enable trace that is passed as true. It means it will give you the uh, info logs or the uh, debugging data uh, which will be printed on the terminal. We will have a look uh, on, on that, right? So then coming to the line number 30, here uh, we are defining or initializing WebSocket.WebSocket app. So basically WebSocket app provides a higher level APIs, right? And here uh, we are passing certain parameters that is uh, the connection URL. So we have to replace this. So let me copy the connection URL. And let's replace this. And then uh, we are passing another three parameters that is on message, on error and on close. Right. So these parameters are not mandatory. Uh, by default, they are none. But here we are passing. So what's happening here is uh, when the message is received from the server, then it will call this on message function that is defined on line number eight. And it takes two parameters that is uh, the object of this class that is WebSocket app and the message itself. And then it will go ahead and print the message. So you can add your own logic. What do you want to do with that message uh, within this function? Now on line number 32, we have other parameter that is on error. So it is similar to on message. This will again call the line number 11 that is on error method. Uh, and again, it takes two parameters. That is the object of the WebSocket app class and the error message itself and it will print it. Similarly, uh, in the next line that is on close. So what we want to do on, on close when the connection is closed. So it will call this method and it simply says closed and it accepts only uh, one parameter that is object of this WebSocket app class. Now on line number 24, we have WS dot on open equal to on open, but uh, this can be accommodated uh, within this initialization. That is, I will say on underscore open 
equal to on open right and then we don't need line number 35 so again on open is similar to on message on error and on close so it will call the on open method so when the connection will be open uh, this method will be called that is on open and it accepts one parameter that is the object of this uh, websocket app class and then we have another method within that that is uh, run and it accepts uh, certain arguments and then we have the for loop uh, that is sending the hello uh, message to the websocket and it's going to iterate for the three times right and then finally uh, once it is uh, out of the loop it will close the connection and we are calling this run method uh, on line number 25 so here we are using uh, uh, another thread so here we are starting uh, the new thread to run this function basically right so now coming back to line number 35 that is uh, ws dot run forever so basically this will run the event loop for the websocket framework and this loop is an infinite loop and is allowed during the websocket is available so this will make sure that the connection uh, is allowed throughout the session right apart from that on line number 30 uh, apart from these parameters that is on open on message on error and on close there are other few parameters like uh, headers cookie on data and few other right so that parameters you can also pass so you can explore on your own you can go through the documentation of the uh, websocket client right now maybe let's go ahead and run this first so I will say python3 ws underscore connection dot py So as you can see uh, it's running thrice right So here is the trace of the request right so since we had enabled line number 29 that is websocket.enable trace true that's the reason this things request header is being printed right and this is the message that we are sending to the websocket uh, api right so and then uh, we have the response that is default root invoked default root invoked default root invoked right so this is how uh, it will work now instead of uh, sending hello uh, we want to send the custom messages uh, which can uh, be entered by the user right so what we have to do is we are going to delete line number 19 to line number 22 and here uh, we will say while true now this is an infinite loop so this will keep running and i will say user underscore input equal to input so this is an inbuilt uh, method and we will say enter message right and since this is an infinite loop uh, we need some things or we need some pointer to stop this loop right so we will say Q or maybe press Q to quit right and then we will put on a condition we will say if user input double equal to Q then break this loop correct and then uh, we will say WS dot send Now here we will require one more package that is JSON, import JSON and coming back to line number 24. So what we want to send that is JSON.dumps followed by JSON.loads user input. Correct. So that's all uh, we want to change, right? 
So uh, one more thing I would like to highlight that on line number 27, uh, we are saying thread dot start new thread and we are uh, passing this function name. And then we are passing this uh, tuple that is empty uh, braces. So you can pass on the parameters to the run function if you want uh, within this uh, tuple. Correct. So I think uh, now we are all set for the conversation with the uh, WebSocket API. Right. So now let's go ahead and run this. So maybe uh, we will say 31 comment. We don't want to print the trace. So we will say Python 3 WS connection dot py enter. Now, as you can see, it's asking us to enter a message that is enter message or press Q to quit. So here uh, we will say action because we want to invoke on message root, right? So on message comma followed by message that we want to pass and we will say hello and we are done. So we'll say enter. So now as you can see here, we have the response that is message hello from server, right? And if I say control C, then it will close the connection. As you can see the close or the on close method is called. So what we can do is we can put time dot sleep here. That is maybe two seconds so that uh, the formatting uh, doesn't mess up, right? So now let's go ahead and run again. Uh, maybe I will copy this. Now again, we are sending this message enter. So here we have the response that is message. Hello from server, right? And now I will say How are you? And we will say enter. Now we have the response saying server is fine. How are you? Now again, we will say good. Enter. And it says uh, great. It's nice talking to you and the connection has been closed from the server side. Correct. So this is how uh, you can uh, keep the connection alive using a WebSocket Python client. Now, before closing this tutorial, I will quickly take you through this blog that we have uh, edited. So what we are doing here is uh, we had defined the while loop that is true and this is an infinite loop. And then uh, we are adding time dot sleep. Uh, the reason we are adding this is because the format of the output uh, was uh, not proper, right? So this message is being printed before uh, we get the outcome from the server. Right. So that's the reason it will wait for the message to print and then it will uh, prompt the user to input the message. Right. And on line number 22, uh, we are fetching the response from the user. The one we were entering it that is within JSON. And finally, on line 23, we are checking the user input, whether user has input uh, Q, then it will break this loop. So I'd not showed this, uh, this demo to you. So we will quickly uh, run that again. And finally, on line number 25, we are sending that message to the WebSocket client, right? And then we are getting the response uh, from the client. And once we get the response uh, from the WebSocket API, the on message uh, method will be invoked and it is printing the message, right? And finally, on line 26, we are closing the connection and that will call the on close method and it will say print close. You can add in your own logic within this function, right? But for now, it's just the print statement, right? So this is the overall code uh, that you can use to uh, connect to the WebSocket API and have the communication. So now let's quickly have a look at the uh, user input. So let's run this again. So we will enter the message, say enter. 
it says hello from server now if i press q and hit enter it will close the connection right so this is how it will work so well uh, that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below so well that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if, if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time